Well, 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 would you look at what Tuesday just drug in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was my creepy Tuesday Yeah, it's not with a creepy yeah, Tuesday voice. That was very creepy. Yeah, what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong with me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, happy Tuesday to you. Thank you for tuning into another episode of Talking Trends. I hope your day is going well. The weather seems to be holding up uh, for this May 22nd, 2018. Coming to the end of the month. How was your Victoria weekend? Was it all that you dreamt of and more? <laughs> Always. Yeah. Isn't it? Um, my weekend, thanks for asking, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> was great. <laughs> and what did you do this week? What did you get into? Well, you know, uh, Friday and Saturday I had uh, two great events back to back. Well, it was the same event, but back to back. A little bump and grind, a little uh, 90s and 2000s R&B. We did 2000s R&B on the Friday. And then, of course, we did the 90s R&B on the Saturday. And both were very well attended, as usual. Friday was bump and Saturday was grind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you didn't get both unless you went to both nights. And shouts out to the ladies and gentlemen who came to both events. Mm-hmm. Uh, it really surprised me. I was like, wow, you really you doubled down on the Friday and Saturday. You got all, all long weekend. You got to go in. Yeah, go in. And that they did. And, and they did. I gave handshakes and hugs to those people and uh, a verbal thank you that's usually against your policy i know but you know when well someone's done. spending money at your event you know you gotta you gotta give it up show the love you gotta show the love show the they love. don't have they don't have to be there they don't have to necessarily be supporting you they could be anywhere else yeah but they came to hang out with me twice friday and saturday nobody does that that's a lot of tk that's a lot of tk <laughs> <laughs> and, I know, and some iv I, i've had girlfriends who didn't even do that i just don't like that you want to go two nights in? yeah, yeah I, nah, I what the hell i'm good i'm good <laughs> i want dinner with you for two nights mm, one, one's good enough for me okay i'm good even my own mother my own mother doesn't give me the friday and saturday love i don't even call my mother that much yeah uh how was your weekend sir uh it wasn't too bad relax you know we got nice. the kids the long weekend and we just kind of did our thing and uh, got a lot of chores done. Nice. Which is always, you know, it I accumulates. F- I feel like it's that time of the year again, like, you know, the weather's a little bit better. You want to kind of spruce up the place, you know, get rid of the, the clutter. That's it's kind springtime, of, man. Yeah. Time, well, spring's almost gone, of right. course. <laughs> got the outdoor uh, yard set up. Right. My, my, you know, my patio stuff. And okay. Sat out there for the first time. It's nice. Yeah. Sit so there, the sun hits you. You need that, that vitamin D, as we say all exactly, the time. Exactly. Exactly. You know, it feels good. Yeah. I, I, I mowed the lawn today. Oh, there you go. Yeah, after my workout. How was that excitement? Uh, you know, <laughs> my lawn's not that big, but, uh, you know. It yeah, takes... what do you got, like a patch of grass? Yeah, it's it's like, yeah, it's it's not it's like a tiny little little. It spot. took three minutes. Yeah, it pretty much takes you like five to ten minutes. It's it takes not... more time to set up. It, it does. <laughs> that is the long. reality of the situation. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time tuned in to talk in terms of myself and Tony, find interesting news articles from across the globe. Mm-hmm. And we bring them to the comforts of your home or wherever you may be listening to this. And on like a lot of podcasts out there this is done live so we want to hear your comments uh in the chat and opinions on certain stories and you may be wondering what stories are we talking about we be wondering yeah well we are gonna tell you because we got a doozy a doozy of a show for you well Um, Well played (laughs) that that was horrible nice uh first off uh you know being drunk one thing (sighs) showing up drunk to teach a classroom that's another thing not recommended. Not recommended. No. And in this lady's case, uh, that's what happened to her. She showed up a little tipsy <laughs> for her classroom. And she was, well, we won't give it away. We'll talk about it in a little bit. We'll chat about it. Uh, Kendrick Lamar in the news. Yeah. I mean, not necessarily him, but maybe someone that he brought up on stage. Mm. Uh, drop, the, up, drop the M-bomb. Opens up a debate. It does open up a, a, a healthy debate. Yes. Uh, we'll talk about that shortly. <clears throat> After that, we're going to talk about a little tampering with food that recently happened. Uh, this lady pictured here mm. uh, went to a fast food uh, mm-hmm. restaurant, mm-hmm. claims that she bit into a sandwich and there's a razor blade but later she was arrested folks <laughs> i wonder why yummy <laughs> and finally speaking about razors and you know getting lined up uh i don't think i've ever been thrown out of a barber shop Sh- barber shop <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you for finishing my Thrown out of a barber <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't think i've ever been thrown out of a barber shop but no. uh this this guy has this gentleman pictured here, unfortunately, was thrown out of a barbershop through a, a little, glass window. Had a little beef. It didn't end well for him. Yeah, apparently didn't like his haircut. 
he was not impressed. No. no. And uh, before we get the day show started, <clears throat> happy birthday to anybody out there who's celebrating a birthday Shouts out. today. Happy birthday. Uh, just checked uh, my text messages from my famous friends. Ooh. Uh, I, I, I got a message from... Uh, my friend Naomi Campbell, <laughs> happy birthday, girl! And she hits you up all the time. She, you know, every every so often. Listen, that's all right. She's turning forty eight. Still looking good. Still looking good, Naomi. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll link up later. Yeah. You know, down the road. Yeah. Sure. And uh, my my man uh, Johnny Gill. Man, fifty two. Yeah. Damn, you looking good. I know. He's for still, 52. He's still doing it. So, he's still doing uh, his thing. Out. Thanks for calling me uh, the other day, Johnny. I'll, I'll return your, your message later. <laughs> How do you know all these people? Also? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they showed up a bump and grind. Yeah. <laughs> Play my jam. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Johnny should show up. I'll, I'll put that out love, there. I'm going to put Yeah. So anyway, much love to uh, those people who are uh, celebrating a birthday. And if you know anybody in your life who's celebrating a birthday, happy birthday from us at Talking Trends to them or to yeah. you or whatever. Just have a good day. Whoever. Yeah. Enjoy the cake. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, first things first. An Alabama teacher was arrested for being drunk in class, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Tanner High School teacher is jailed for being drunk in class today. Well, this is a couple days ago. Yeah. But uh, May Gladys Edwards, a 40-year-old family and consumer science teacher. Didn't even know that was a course you could what does take. What does that mean? Consumer science. Consumer science. That sounds very interesting. Yeah. I, like that. I think I would take that class. I would take that class. Yeah. Consumer science, like marketing. I'm assuming. I didn't know that was a class. Yeah. It wasn't a class when I was in school. No. Someone looked that up. Consumer science class. Yeah. We need a definition ASAP. Right now. Do it. Okay, go. Um, And she was charged with public intoxication and illegal possession of prohibited liquors. Both, (laughs) ladies and gentlemen, are misdemeanors. Uh, A limestone county sheriff's school resource officer arrested Edwards just after 1 p.m., said uh, Stephen Young, a sheriff's spokesman. Schools officials and the resource officer started investigating after a student reporting the teacher was behaving a little oddly. <laughs> uh, Young said a liquor bottle was found near the teacher's desk. Couldn't even get rid of it. Couldn't even just, you know, get a little Mickey and put it in something. You, you know, put a in mug. your put in your purse or yeah, in your mug. Yeah. Teachers always had a mug on their desk. Exactly. They weren't drinking coffee. I'll tell you right, right? now. Uh, quote, unquote, we have no tolerance for this kind of alleged behavior on school property. Tolerance. Said, I know. Uh, it said Limestone County School Superintendent Tom Sisk. It's very troubling. Our kids were exposed to this kind of behavior. I mean, on the grand scale of things. Mm. I mean, was she really hurting anybody? Well. Besides her liver. Well, you can't. Uh, wait a minute now. This is. I'm assuming this is school. This is in the morning, right? She was arrested around one, so I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so she was drinking during the morning I guess. at school. It was a little tipsy during. Has it been the first time a teacher o'clock. drank on the job? It's eight o'clock. Not. It's eight o'clock somewhere, Tony. Eight a.m. <laughs> uh, it's bad. I think when you're responsible for children. Yes, I agree. But you know, what? I mean, in the great, there's all these shootings. There's at least she's not having sex with these kids. She's not shooting these kids. She's not beating them with the baseball bat. It was early in the day. We don't know what was going to happen later on. <laughs> Maybe she's about to get wild. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe. Uh, anyways, uh, Edwards is, of course, ladies and gentlemen, on paid leave while the school system <laughs> investigates the incident. Paid uh, leave. Yeah. She's at the bar. Yeah. She's literally. Just yeah, just down at the bar, yeah, uh, drinking her worries away. Yeah, uh, based on the outcome, superintendent uh, said that he would um, he will recommend how the school board should handle Edwards' employment future. Um, she has worked at that school for less than one year. Well, so much of that career. <laughs> well, then you're done as a teacher. I'm assuming at this point. I guess paid leave too. Damn, man. I love it. What in the world is up with these jobs <laughs> where you get busted for something super fucking illegal and you still get paid? That's the job I want. Yes. How do we get that job? I'm going to look on Job Bank tomorrow. Yeah. And one of your stipulations must be if I break the rules. If I break the rules in any regard, I want to get paid. Yes. If I get fired or found out, whatever. Or suspended. Or suspended. I'll be at the bar. Catch me. When you're ready to give me my job back. Yeah. Yeah. Good to go. Listen, in my books, I think this is the teacher of the year candidate. She's a candidate for teacher of the year. Listen, maybe she's a better drunk than sober. Maybe that's how. Hey, maybe she teaches, yeah, much better while she's Maybe she's much influence. better. Yeah, maybe she is. Hey. Maybe she's a horrible teacher, but when she's drunk. She's like, 
kids pay attention right it could be <laughs> even though it's super against the fucking rules of the school i'm sure well if no one knows i mean yeah she might have been acting a little odd maybe slurring the occasional <laughs> word but ladies and gentlemen i constantly mess up sentences on this show it doesn't mean necessarily i'm drinking or it does mm. yeah, doesn't it okay right. anyway our next story uh, <laughs> ma'am two plus one is not five yeah. you shut up i'm the teacher yeah i say it is five motherfucker yeah. i would prefer uh, a, a little <laughs> drunken teacher action i think it'd be super entertaining i think it'd be amazing i think i've had a few teachers that came to school high i think yeah no doubt for sure i think over the years or Think, drunk. Thinking back, I'm sure there's been a couple of teachers that have, yeah, like you said, have shown no up doubt. under the influence. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, listen, they're teachers. They got to deal with a lot of shit. Especially now. You don't think it's not even more stressful now no, being listen, a teacher? They no. all drinking. I will be loaded. And shouts out to the teachers, by the way. We don't think you're all drunks. No, no, you uh, do a great job. Especially to the ones that, uh, the guy who makes the pancakes for his kids. No, oh, that poor guy. Yeah, I know. See? Yeah. So he gets in trouble making pancakes. She gets in trouble for drunks because it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. It's the same that, damn thing. Which is thing. so crazy. This guy, the yeah, hell? he doesn't even get paid leave. And, oh. he, and he's making pancakes yeah. for the kids. What does that fucking make? And this lady <laughs> gets caught on the job drinking what is going and she gets on? paid leave. What's wrong? I don't get it, ladies Something gentlemen. wrong with this picture, people. Ah, man. Yeah, mm. give them all guns. God yeah, you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, seriously, imagine. Imagine her with a gun under the influence. That'd be a good idea. I think so. Yeah, why not? Bah. Do it, do it. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, you, you know, you want to be pulled up on stage while your, your favorite artist is performing your favorite song. You know, you're in the shower every morning. You're belting out those lyrics like <laughs> no one's listening. Yeah. Of course no one is. You're in your own shower. Who cares? The N-word might slip out. But ladies and gentlemen, I may warn you. Yeah. If you are Caucasian. <laughs> yes. And you are spewing the n-word let's not do it in public or actually you know what i encourage it if that's your mo and you want people to know you do it mm, yeah you gotta be careful <laughs> in this story tony will take it away yeah be very careful kendrick lamar he ain't having it mm -hmm. he was forced to step in after a white female he invited up on stage at a musical festival dropped the n-word three times in a row while rapping along uh to the star song uh lamar 30 years old was in the middle of his sunday night set at the hangout music festival in alabama when he invited several lucky fans on stage to join him uh, in performing his 2012 track uh mad city mm -hmm. uh so after a uh, uh there's a couple concert goers so after the first concert girl came up named rohan uh killed it as one of the twitter's uh users said he respectfully avoided rapping this racial slur a uh, young and a uh, young attendee named delaney hopped on stage to join lamar this is the other girl <laughs> uh she skipped the word for the first time it came up but mm -hmm. failed to censor herself on the second third and fourth time uh prompting an audible groan <laughs> from the crowd lamar quickly cut the music and repeatedly said wait after the third n-word left his mouth uh quote she said am i not cool enough for you what's up bro <laughs> ladies and gentlemen following up with a bro doesn't make it any better <laughs> i'm surprised you didn't follow it over the n-word oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? You may, so she just should have finished it off oh my god <laughs> you're batting at 500 right now you may as well keep yeah. going yeah, Barry you're, Bonds. In, you're in the hole already <laughs> uh so he quoted he said afterwards uh, my boy rohan who was the first concert goer he kind of knew the rules a little bit he said mm -hmm. you gotta bleep one single word though yeah uh she quickly apologized and uh question whether she'd actually said the word to which the uh pulitzer prize was pulitzer prize winning rapper by the way mm. uh confirmed that she did say that word yes he asked the crowd should she give it get another shot to go at it uh there was a lot of booze I in think the crowd a mixed reaction yeah there was a mixed reaction in the crowd she got one more shot uh where she skipped the word for the second go around but the rapper still opted to cut her stage time short yeah. um which begging the question uh, yeah ladies and gentlemen uh i mean Mm -hmm. we, have, we have the video we have the video we're Let's, gonna we're gonna give you, you be the judge we're gonna give you a little sample uh it's about it runs over we'll cut it off around a little bit of after a minute after yeah. she she drops the the m-bombs uh three two one here we go are you ready you ready what's your name delaney make some noise for delaney right now She said, where we started at? I told you every time. Swear I got 
She seemed excited to be up there. She was in the groove. She knew the words, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that not okay? Uh, someone she says under- it looks like she had a few drinks. Carrie I says. was going to say, was she under the influence? She looked a little wobbly. Yeah. Like the teacher. It may have been certain substances at play here. Yeah. Is it okay? <laughs> You're on a stage with Jay-Z. He says, yo, let's go. <laughs> and then, uh, you know. Song comes on, you want to get into it. I don't know. People do it all the time in their cars, in the shower. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Here's the thing. Yeah. Break right? it down. Yeah. I don't want to get oh boy. off the fucking level here. Okay, go for it. But the majority of hip hop fans, yeah. not majority, a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Are white people. Oh, a lot of white people go to those <laughs> concerts. A lot of white people mm-hmm. go to, the, you got one right there on stage. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. You make these songs, you know that. You, let's say your audience is 50% white in some cases more yeah your songs contain that word yeah they're in your jam they're appreciating your shit yeah, yeah. you get into it yeah you do it comes out yeah it does is that bad <laughs> yeah probably if you're in a club and you start jamming and that word comes out <laughs> I'm gonna look at you you see a sea of white people say it's in a club <laughs> and everyone's like is that okay is yeah that okay? <laughs> well that's the thing I think you know you know it's not okay when you have to pull back and, and your eye, your eyes open up really wide and you're kind of looking around. Yeah, that's a sign. It's a, a little faux pas yeah. right there. Yeah, you bad. know something's up. You're, it's like, oh my God, like yeah, uh, like a little bit forbidden. Like, should we do this? Should we do this? Uh, I don't know. I, I Me personally, I don't know. Jenny says, uh, I think she was feeling the song and didn't even, uh, didn't even clue in. She was going with the jam and she was just kind of into it. That's what I'm saying. I think she did so many times at home probably listened to it hundreds thousands of times she knew the words i'm sure if she would if she, she did the whole song she'd yeah, know it driving to work and i think when when she couldn't say the n-word it took her off the second time they she couldn't she, she couldn't she couldn't do it without it. it it took her off her stat her game yeah julie says i don't think she did it intentionally she seemed uh she just seems ignorant um why did she pick why did he pick a song that has had it so many times in the song that that lyric and that, that's true too and i was thinking about that i was like why would you bring somebody up on stage for such song but and also it's over and over and over again like right in the beginning of the song <laughs> and at the same time but at the same time there was other fans who went up before her that didn't and they were able to give the radio version that's true that's true they knew the rules yeah and if he explained such said rules mm. then i think she will have to be at fault Yes, I agree that music should be played, uh, how it's created, yep. and how we listen to it, you know. But uh, if the artist is telling you, hey, you might want to not say the M word right refrain now. refrain a little bit, yeah. But let's, uh, let's take that to heart and take that to mind and uh, respect his wishes. Uh, yes, I agree. Kara says, I think you should know the time and place and the audience around you. She said uh, she did say it pretty loud. <laughs> I'm glad she was called out for it. She probably learned... Uh, a very valuable lesson. I think a lot, I hope, hopefully a lot of people learn a lesson. Whoa. Well, listen, Eminem doesn't use it. What? Yeah. It, he doesn't use it. Uh, one of the greatest of Post, all time. Post Malone recently yeah. broke a bunch of records, uh, streaming records and download records for his album. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? There's not one end bomb on there. Yep. Well, you're not black, so I suppose. You well, well, that's the thing. You right? probably shouldn't be using it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Whitey. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, uh, uh, Will Smith uh, <laughs> doesn't use it. Yeah, and he's the whitest guy. 
And he doesn't curse <laughs> in his raps either. Yeah. So, still a quick roll call. Let's do it. And uh, we won't be using the N-word during the roll call. Jonathan Cromwell, as always. <laughs> My name. <doing it. laughs> straight out the gate. Just straight out the gate. I just get it. Oh, boy. Uh, Charlie, Jeanette, Carrie Gale. Uh, who else we got here? Jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, listening. I am a, right I'm a black man. Just, just want to let you know if you come across the show and you randomly download it, yeah. you come across this segment. Let's just yep. get that out the way. Uh, okay. Mark, a miracle, miracle in the house. Uh, however you like to say it. <laughs> My brother. Jenny in the house. Uh, I can't say it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for joining us once again. Yeah, yeah. Much appreciated. Much love. Shout out to Miracle. I see the, the, today he's starting, uh, I believe he's working out. He's going to be working out. Uh, we, had a, we had a conversation. Yeah. We had a little talk. Oh. A little heart to heart. Oh. We've had actually many of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> And he said he was getting back into it because he's got his work schedule on point now. Okay, good. He's uh, he's doing well now. He's trying to get his eating habits, even though he was talking about KFC yesterday. I'm a little disappointed, my man. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, he's trying to do right. You got to tackle one goal at a time. So if you know what, if you want to start working out, you do the workout thing. Then let the eating fall in place after. It or takes time. Yeah, you, you got to tackle things on one by one. You just can't jump into the deep end and take everything on. It's tough cold turkey. It's tough cold turkey. Just don't deep fry the turkey. Yeah. You be tough, right. <laughs> tough KFC, man. It's tough to have KFC <laughs> day. But uh, Tuny Tuesdays. Today's Tuesday. Get your Tuny Tuesday on. Are those, is that even still a thing? I don't think it is. No. That can't be a thing. Tuny Tuesday still a thing, KFC? It can't be. We'll call, we'll call everybody out now because you know the first person to answer is going to know. <laughs> uh, Jeanette laughs at me. Tony, heart to heart. Hey, I do heart to heart. Tiny heart to normal. Tiny, <laughs> cold, little black heart. <laughs> little cold heart in there. Trying to picture it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, speaking about fast food and uh, eating in general, this yeah. uh, woman pictured here. She claims to have found a razor blade in her fast food, but is later arrested. Hmm, you wonder why. Nice. Um, the police department says that they arrested a woman after she claimed to have received a mouth injury from a razor blade found in her food, fast food sandwich. Police say that they were called to a Mercy Regional Medical Center on Friday, May 15th, after a woman claimed that she had received a facial injury due to a razor blade found in her fast food she purchased at a local chain restaurant. Uh, the woman, identified by police, 29-year-old Corelli uh, Bradley, interesting name, mm. uh, told police she uh, purchased her food from the restaurant and upon biting into her sandwich, felt a strange object in her mouth and then pain. According to police, Bradley then went home and discovered the razor blade inside her sandwich. Uh, officers said that upon investigation, they determined that the injury was not consistent with biting into the object, but appeared to be self-inflicted, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Um, police say that the examination of the sandwich and the razor blade revealed that there were no signs that a blade was mixed into the contents of the sandwich. Security footage was gathered by police from the restaurant as well as from local uh, stores that sold similar razor blades to the one involved in the, the case. Officers say that uh, they were able to locate a sword that had was missing a pack of razor blades from their inventory upon viewing surveillance footage and observe uh, Bradley entering the store minutes before purchasing her sandwich. Mm. Uh, police say Bradley allegedly stole a pack of razor blades, couldn't even buy them, stole no. them <laughs> uh, from the store. Officers say that during the investigation, it was discovered that Bradley had filed an insurance claim with the restaurant's insurance and was seeking representation of an attorney for personal injury the same day as the incident. So a little premeditation <laughs> here. Jesus. Uh, uh, so the police department says that the surveillance footage ultimately shows Bradley entering the restaurant minutes after allegedly stealing razor blades from another store. Officers determined that no one at the restaurant had placed any foreign materials inside the food that Bradley purchased and that her claims seem to be 100% false. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Trying to get paid. God damn. See, people want to get paid now. Oh, man. What a price to pay, though. Yeah. Ugh. Man, can you imagine? Ugh. I mean, how did you really think you just how did you think that was actually going to go through? Like, how does a razor blade magically fall into food like that? It's I mean, I think we talked about well, I was going to say years ago, um, yeah, many moons, many ago. moons ago uh, during Halloween. There's been people who used to do that, uh, put razor blades in candy. But yes. then if later you find out that they complained, but then they were the one putting the razor blade in with the candy. I was yeah. just like, what are you doing? 
some sense, people. Yeah, I don't get it. It doesn't work. I mean, if you're going to do something like this, at least do it. Goddamn, do it right. Like, don't get... One, can you at least buy the razors, for God's sakes? Number one, yeah. Let's not steal them, first of all. Yeah. And maybe do them from, like, a store that's, I don't know, not so close to uh, a place that you plan on putting the razor blade in. Yes. Uh, just, Just... Maybe not call the lawyer ahead of time. Maybe not call a lawyer ahead of time with some insurance claim. I yeah, don't know. That it's, might be an idea. Yeah. And, and, you know, if you really want to sell it, ladies and gentlemen, you got to bite down on that razor that's in your mouth. Yeah. You Just gotta go have, for it. You have to have consistency. Consistency, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, man. Trump's everything. It's a true point. Especially in court. That's go right. all in. Yeah. You yeah. got you to gotta go all in. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this lady, she, she messed up. Mm, not good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah well you know just do it the right way man <laughs> of course myself and tony don't condone, condone any never. this uh this, this behavior never. we would never, never do never, something never. like that no. never no we're not telling you the right way to do anything to, to to do wrongful unlawful things ever we would never say that no to your face you know to your face no uh or <laughs> you do what you do as you do you do as you do you know what you keep doing the way you do i want to read about your your mishaps and talk about them on the show so we just want your pain. Yes, exactly. We yep. don't want your payouts. Your Pierce pain. says, don't try to cheat the system. No. There you go. How about you earn a dollar like the rest of us hard-working folks? Or two dollars. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Earning and a buck f- can cost you Fine. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, razor blades, lineups, you know, stuff that happens at a barbershop. Mm. Typically not being thrown out of a barbershop through a window. Seems very comical and movie-like. But this is the case. Of what happened to one man, I believe, in New York. This is not in good shape. No. No. Uh, Yeah, not good. Uh, Brooklyn. uh, It happened in Brooklyn. Uh, Unlucky. His name is Dushan. Uh, I was going to say, is his name Unlucky? Unlucky Dushan. (laughs) They call him Unlucky Dushan. Okay. Uh, A new haircut. Ooh, it cost him some pain. You can see in the picture there. Yeah. He got caught up pretty bad. Uh, He ended up getting shoved through a plate glass window. After uh, him and the barber in the barbershop, Levels Barbershop in Crown Heights, got into an argument. Mm. Uh, Dushan says, I had my back turned to the guy. And the next thing I knew, he pushed me through the straight through the plate glass window. Wow. At that point, I flew through the window. And the only thing I can remember was saying, what the? Mm. Mm. Explicit there. <laughs> uh, as blood poured from his gashes on his face, the barber decided to cut and run. So the guy took off. I like their wordplay there. Where he was working. Uh, yeah, cut and run. Uh, identified suspect remains on the loose. So they haven't even found the guy yet. Uh, the attack- how's, how's the guy... Um, he comes into work the next day. How's the guy work at a barbershop you don't know where he lives? Yeah, you don't have his address. Oh, he's on. The, he's somewhere. God knows where he is. Uh, apparently, okay. Uh, the attack left the uh, crooked gash uh, snaking from uh, below Deshaun's left ear across his cheek onto the bridge of his nose. Mm. Uh, left eye swollen and very painful for him to breathe. Apparently, uh, it took two doctors to fully stitch up the lacerations on his face. Mm. Uh, he's thirty-three years old. Uh, he said things started out well when he arrived at the barber shop. As things, he, as things usually do, where he'd stop in once before. Once before he's been there. When I came in, he gave. Uh, when he uh, sorry, when I came in, he gave me this grandiose salutation. So the guy, he obviously had been there before with this guy. Like we were long lost friends, oh. and I was a regular customer. Oh. All good. <laughs> Warning sign number one. Yeah. Uh, it soon became clear that he was dealing with a crazy man. Oh boy. Uh, so this person is a me- actually the the guy who got cut. He's a mental health professional. Oh, so he works in that field. So that's why he's, so he's saying crazy man. He actually means like there's something right. wrong there. Uh, well, yeah, usually uh, a person of normal stature does, doesn't push another man or woman through a pane of glass. Yes. Well, not unusual, right? Yeah. Uh, you'd think. Deshaun said things escalated uh, when the barber asked uh, to trim his beard uh, and the practicing Muslim declined. So he wanted to trim his beard. He's a Muslim. He wants to keep it at a certain length. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, I don't want to do that. The barber uh, was just really negative, he said. The next thing Deshaun knew, he was crashing through a glass at the barber as the barber bolted the bloody scene. Uh, So he's still on the loose. Despite the deep cuts on his face, Deshaun insisted he had no beef with the fugitive barber's work. Uh, he did an awesome job. So he even complimented him. Damn, <laughs> son. Oh, my God. And that's, that's, you know, that's, that's the Muslim way. You know? I would it's, be it's, like, man, this is the dumbest haircut ever. I know. He's not like that. No. <laughs> he was not like that. Yeah, man. I mean, good on him for even uh, still liking the haircut. Listen, Jeanette said I would not argue with someone who has razors and scissors. 
I the only t I felt uncomfortable once at a barber shop. It was when I was in Florida. I was looking to get a nice haircut. And I went to this place. It was my first time getting lined up with a razor. Yep. I mean, you're putting a lot of trust in somebody. Uh, especially to, you are. to a stranger. You are. Yeah, it was like my first time going to this barber shop. And then they put you back in the seat. <laughs> Like so, yeah, and yeah, you're just putting your, all your trust in this person with who could, I mean, literally end your life if they wanted to, and if they're Definitely. having a bad day. And I mean, in this Definitely. guy's case, yeah, like who knows if uh, like the the mental stability of some of these people could have been really bad. Could have been really bad. And I yeah. mean, it just seemed like could have been worse. Yeah, like, I don't understand how it escalated so quickly. Yeah, crazy. And, and even if it, if the person did have a problem with the like the the haircut itself. I mean, there's other barbers there. I'd be like, hey, I'm sure they would be willing to fix it up or... True. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it just seems like it stemmed from uh, when he asked him about the beard and he said, no, I don't want that. And that's triggered something. So maybe there was something going on with maybe something with the Muslim, you know, maybe, you know, faith and him or something. Right. I don't know. He took offense to it. Obviously. Like shave these nuts. Shave it, baby. Uh, Jenny, thank you for joining us. She says, first time watching you guys. I'll watch you again. Love you. But I got to get out of here. All right. Thank you, dear, for joining us. Merci beaucoup. Much appreciated. Uh, Carrie says, get, getting razored for a man is kind of like a woman getting banged. Oh, bangs. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hit or miss. My bad. Tony, you must not say the B word. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, be careful out there. I'm so glad I don't go to a barber anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah, here's just like the DIY. Yeah, I'm perfect, man. I'm not going in there, especially after that story. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I mean, I still have to go. I mean, I've gone and I've gotten the straight blade like shave. Yeah, yeah, that's a straight blade. That's, it is. It's, it's a blade. You want to die? That's one way yeah, to go. I have a lot of trust in my barbers. You got to trust your barber. Yeah, you know, I have, I have one or two that I let let touch this cranium of mine. See that. So you're very particular about people touching you. Yeah, very particular. Oh, very particular about the men that I allow to touch my head. Men folk. <laughs> uh, yeah. All good. Yeah, what I mean, you, you have doing? an event coming up, but you know what? We'll talk about that tomorrow. Yes, we'll talk about it tomorrow. We'll yeah. throw up some uh, graphics, Ooh. and uh, yeah, it'll be pretty. But yeah, we have something <laughs> coming up this Saturday. You don't want to miss it, ladies. We'll give you all the details tomorrow. Yeah. What are you doing tonight? Tonight, uh, I still have to do my stair climber challenge. Boo. Man, that's terrible. I have another eight days, eight, nine days of you it. You should do them with some of them cinnamon chips. <sighs> we just had some pita chips that were drenched in cinnamon, <laughs> and it tasted like cinnamon toast crunch, the cereal. <laughs> Holy crap. Here's the thing. <clears throat> Thanks me, to Leland. Yeah, me and certain foods. Tony gave me one of the chips, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. and it literally just opened up the Pandora's box. Now I feel like... I'm going to go to Superstore or Sobeys and going down to the cereal aisle to get Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, Don't do it, man. I know. You're telling me no, but you gave me no. the keys to the city, my friend. Wow. Well, just a little nibble. <laughs> That's all it took. Uh, uh, man. So uh, besides that, I don't know. Is there a basketball game on tonight? Oh, there is. Your Golden State Warriors will be back in the <laughs> house taking on the Houston Rockets. Oh, it is, too. And it's getting juicy. I need Houston to win. Dude, <laughs> what is it, 3-1? No, it's 2-1. Uh, all right, you're still okay for a minute. I mean, if they don't win tonight, then. The Cavs won last night, bringing that series to 2-2. Yeah. But they go back to Boston, so I think the Cavs are screwed now. It's, uh, yeah, unless, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. Who knows? I mean, with that team, you just don't know. It's just like, man, like, you crushed them one game, like, by 30 points, yeah. 40 points, whatever the hell it was. Yeah, 30 points. And then you, and then the Cavs come and beat you. Like, it's, how do you, how are you not playing the same? Yeah, it's interesting. It's a very, it's a very interesting playoffs with uh, consistency and inconsistency. It's really crazy. Which is good, because it makes it for better ball anyway. It does, yeah. And you, you want to get some other teams maybe to make it a little bit further than they usually would. But, yeah. I mean, again, on the West Coast, you have the team that everybody suspected to make it to the championship is, yep. I mean, still playing amazingly well, uh, which is Golden State. And, uh, yeah, Golden State versus Houston. I mean, I thought Houston would at least, I don't know. We'll see tonight. Houston, gentlemen. again, is almost down to, like, one. It's one superstar player. you got a couple supporting guys, but it's not like, you know, Golden it's State, man. You know what it is? Yeah. Gold, Golden State, it's just, they. to me, Golden State is the upgraded uh, San Antonio Spurs. They mm -hmm. have a lot of star players, yep. but the star players are role players. There's not, like, yeah. the guy who needs the ball. Yeah. 
a hundred percent of the time. You're no, right. Kevin Durant's perfectly fine scoring whatever. Steph Curry's fine scoring. Klay Thompson's fine scoring. Like everybody yeah. has their role, and you know what? The the ultimate goal is to win that chip, to win that ring. Uh, there's no mm-hmm. stars. Like who cares about the MVP? I mean, you still lost, like or what have you, like. True. You know, who cares about your triple doubles? Your team still lost. Hey, you can be coach of the year and still get canned. You're, so, <laughs> so, I mean, listen. So that's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. That's what makes, to me, it makes the difference of, uh, I mean, a great basketball team. I mean, even like Michael Jordan was an awesome player. But again, the man was surrounded by some great role-playing yep. players. Yep. Absolutely. And sure. that won them countless championships. Well, I mean, yeah, you can count the championships, but I'm just saying. <laughs> they are accountable. They are accountable. Anyway. Anyway, that, that, that that's... A good team. Good teammates. We'll see what happens tonight. We will. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in for another episode of Talk of Trends. We really do appreciate your time. Uh, myself and Tony are going to be out, and we would love to see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Happy hump day. Early happy hump day. And whatever you get up to tonight, uh, mm. be safe and uh, have a good evening. Peace. And we are out, ladies and gentlemen. Audi. Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Talking Trends. If you like the show, please subscribe below.